Hi guys. How are you doing? Hi everybody. How are you doing today? Hope everybody is safe. Yeah? All good? All good. Uh, as we promised, uh, today we're gonna start uh, working on uh, on coffee for kids. Okay. Uh, it's it's okay if everybody uh, it's, uh, has a bit of trouble in, <laughs> in preparing, especially moms. But uh, we are all here uh, just to learn and to uh, to see what's better for our kids. Okay. Uh, let me just adjust this. Uh, as you see, I told you to prepare uh, like uh, three three uh, place to put the coffee. Tlet aghti zgar, okay, or brushes, or paper. Paper, my friend, it's going shway carton style, which is which is not normal paper. It's like carton style. و قلت لكم كمان تحضروا اي بن اي بنسل اي انك لترسموا و وكمان جيبوا انستنت كوفي اوكي اذا كنتوا شوي كونفيوز اباوت البروبورشن هني البروبورشن يا اصغر شيء اصغر شيء ذا ليس ذا ليس بورشن بيكون اكثر شيء دنسيتي ذن وي جو ديجريديشن اوكي uh, I'll wait for more uh, people who are gonna join us. Uh, welcome everybody, moms and kids and dads and kids. Okay, okay. Today, uh, as I said, we have a spoon. Okay, and some instant coffee. I said, and the first one as number one. Okay, this is number one. We're gonna put half a spoon. Okay, half a spoon of instant coffee approximately half okay then in the second one we put it like quarter quarter a spoon and the second one and the third one is just quarter of the quarter just this style okay so I repeat we put in the number one like this one we put half a spoon of instant coffee the second one we put a quarter, quarter of a, of a teaspoon. Then the third one we put quarter of the quarter, just a little bit. And here you can put some, some water. Okay. Now every, every uh, number they take three spoons of water. Like number one we put one, two, Three. Number two, we put one, two, three spoons. And number three also, one, two, three. Okay. I'm doing that because uh, I put the same portion of water in every, uh, in every uh, cup, but the density and the one is more than the density of two, more than the density of three. And then here water, water is zero coffee. Okay. So again, for people who join me, we put half a spoon of coffee, half a, sp a spoon of coffee in number one, half a spoon, a uh, uh, quarter of a half, quarter of a teaspoon coffee, and then and half of the quarter number three and here water. Okay, uh, before we start drawing, I'm gonna uh, switch off the light and tell you talk a bit about the, the light, okay? Don't be away, don't be afraid. I'm switching off the light, okay?
Okay, switch off the light. You can see the light? It's amazing, right? Okay, let's have this experiment. This is the sun here. Okay, you see the sun? You see the light? So this is this is how we're gonna work it out. We're gonna work out things that is brighter. Uh, the more it comes to the sun direction, the more it's brighter, and then it faded out. It faded out to be darker. Okay, like look, look at your hand. Look at my hand. You see the light is coming on my hand on one side. This side is brighter than the back side. So that's how we're gonna work with coffee now. Okay, everybody with me? Again, this one is the sun. This is here the sun. We come the light, we, 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 we take the light usually from the sun. And the more things are opposite to the sun, the more light on it, the more things away from the sun. Look at my back of the hand, see? It's dark at the back and bright the front okay and same on any object also any object you can see this object you see the light the back of the object is dark the back of the object is dark okay you see it's shade also look at the shade okay so when you work on, uh, on any kind of painting, you have to think of light and shade. And each shade ha is, di is, is different than other, okay? And the shade also depends on the, on the size of the object, on the angle, okay, all these things. But for today, we're going to just consider the sun is coming from the east in the early morning, and we are drawing with the sun. Okay, I put the light back on. Okay. Okay. Put the sun back. And we start playing around with, with the object. Uh, draw any object that you feel you're comfortable with. Like maybe I will draw with you today, we'll draw an apple. Uh, so we put the sun is here. Okay, this is the sun. And it has some rays, beautiful rays. Always sun has amazing rays. Each day we have to go out in the sun. The smiley face, the sun, look at it. Wow. She's smiling to us. Okay. And we went to the valley. Rahna al Hale. Watafna tefeha. Jibna tefeha la mama waba al wait. We brought the apple home. And then we put it aside and we start. We start thinking, oh, how the apple look. We first realize it's a bit round. Oh, it looks like a heart from here. Then we end up down. Then we end up back up again. Okay. I'm sure you drew good apple because you eat a lot of apples. And then we realize that there is something hanging out here. Oh, okay. And you can maybe, if you pick it up fresh, you can have a leaf for it. Okay. So we brought the, leather, the apple from the valley. We ate some healthy ones. And now we're going to paint it with, with coffee. Okay. Again, draw any, any shape you have, even in front of you, if you have some shape. Okay. Everybody with me? Okay. Even if you have any object, this will be the first, the first work. Okay. We take, if you're working with big space, you, you have to work with big brushes. If tiny space with tiny brushes, I have three brushes here. This is the round ones, two round ones, and one a bit flat 
for bigger space. Okay. I want to start with a bit with the, don't put too much coffee or, uh, or water. Don't saturate it, just the tip of it. I'll start a bit with number, with number three, just a little bit. And as we said, the sun gonna hit here. I won't start from here. I'll start from the back side of it. So let's this, for example, this subject divided into, into three for us. Okay, for example, the sun, these are the parts that facing the sun. We put them because there is no, there is no uh, zero here. This is the zero. So they don't take much of the color. If we put this as the sun, this is zero. This is zero zone, which the sun reflects here. It might be some shade here, but mostly the sun is directly too much here. Then we move a bit to here, which is, which is a bit number one. Then move here a bit, which is number two. Then the last part is number three. Okay, so we divide it into, into layers because the sun is near. So we put zero, it has no coffee in it. Zero doesn't like coffee. And then little bit of coffee for number one area. And number two, we put extra coffee. And three, it will be a bit dark. Okay, the shade, we'll talk about it later. Okay, we'll get, so we are gonna light this area, you choose choose this or choose uh, choose one medium one for that area I choose this one we put with number sorry here I did a mistake here it is this after zero should be three and this is two and this is one okay so zero three, two, one. So zero should be here. Okay. So this is the light area. Zero, three, two, one. We go to three and we put a bit of it and we start rendering. Okay. Put some coffee. First time you don't see it much because it's very light. Okay. This is, I told you, it's just a practice how to use the color. But later on, when you start developing your skills, okay, you start to know that you don't need these measurements. You get measurements by visual, but just to tell you how it works. So now we start number three here, which is, which is the lightest before water. Okay, then we move to number two, just a bit. And then we do number two, we can mix it a bit. And move a number two. Okay. The coffee, coffee stains take a lot of layers. Like if you do a layer after layer, the more you layering, the more you put on each on, on top of each other, the more it becomes darker, okay? But for me, I like to work uh, with, with darker stages, okay? And then after two, we go to one, mix it a bit. Don't take much, okay? You see the color difference? Okay. Here number one. Okay, then if you want, you can change and take a small one to start doing some details. Okay, as we said here, there is no, there is no uh, coffee, but here behind it, the sun is here. So we put a bit of brush here because it's side. Okay. And for me, I have another plate. I prepared it on the side, which is has a different degradation. Okay, this is the uh, this is for example number one for me, and this is number two and three. 
But when you have these kind of the degradation, you can choose any degradation and add it up. I'll add at the degradation here, last stage. Okay, and don't forget as usual to blend the color. Blending is so important. Blend your color. Okay, you might have a bit, sometimes the apple has a bit dark here. Put some darkness. some darkness end of the leaf remember still the sun shining here let's color the eyes of the sun oh lovely sun okay so back to our apple you see now the apple is taking the shape we can dark it more here The lower part is very dark because away from the sun is very dark. Look at it. It should be dark. Okay. I hope guys you're having a good time with mom and dad. And please later send me what you did. Okay. I can blend with a big brush. Take number one and do it from the bottom and blend it up okay it's always good to have to have a towel with you or a napkin so you can dry your your brush okay i'm moving up so the direction of the sun still this way Okay, we can see here a bit of degradation of the color, the color degradation. It's always coming from the sun and then hitting back. Okay, as we said, there is some shades. We can also do shades. Shade, it, it, it's, it has same color as number one, which is dark shade. Okay, so the direction is this. The shade should be something like with the straight this direction some shading for the apple okay you can dark it as much as you want shading guys we'll talk about it later but just to let you know also shading it has a color which is the dark color of coffee okay Now we're gonna move to some other object that you did at home. Any object, okay? We'll work on on some some object or some people, whatever you want to draw with me, you can draw. Uh, another example. We do some objects like you can square or houses or Okay. My kids are watching also and they are doing their homework. Hope they are not naughty. Adam and I. Okay. So this is the house. Okay. So this is an ark. Okay. And this is the door. Okay, this is another door. And we still the sun is coming from here. Mostly copy works and big objects. Later, if you want to do some details, you have to work very fine details.
Okay. So let's see. This is a small building here. Okay. We'll work some some building out. Okay, let's color. Start number three, which is light, if the sun's coming from here. So this area it has a little bit of little bit of coffee. This area also has a little bit of coffee. Here. Here it's a bit three. You can put number three here. Number three here. Number three here. Okay. And here. Because this is because this is an arc. Okay, for example, the arc has dimension. Okay. So this is three here. And remember always that the sun and the light is reflected back. It hits the 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 ground and then it reflected back. So if it reflected on the floor, it will hit back on the wall. Okay. So remember, if it hit, for example, here on this floor, if it comes from here, it hit on this floor. Okay. There'll be some light here coming from this area, and this light here, the light, it also reflects back here. Okay. So that's why you see sometimes dark areas, but it's highlighted in indirect light. Okay, we'll go to two. Two is in, in between areas. Okay, so if this is, for example, this is two. Two mix between light and nice shade this is a bit too okay then I'll move to three I move to one sorry one is the darkest remember we put it in a lower part where it's far away from the sun. Here, there is a bit of darkness. And here is dark. And here is a bit dark. Also here, number one, the darkest areas which the sun doesn't reach. You can see how it's how it's layering up the the coffee. It's layer by layer. Okay, I put for example here three. It's a bit light. You can use the water to dilute it out. This is the water. You can use it out to dilute it, to merge it. Okay. Here you can put some water, but very tiny of coffee. Here the the top of the building, the top of the house, just light color. We go back to dark, number one. Even the door, the door is completely, the sun is behind the door. Here, the sun might hit a bit Okay, have you seen? I change my brush and I change it to tiny brush. So I can do more. I have very dark coffee here, so I can do the the doors. So under the door here I can do some shade dark shades under under the windows. You see how nice the blending of the colors? It's amazing texture. The coffee, it gives you amazing texture. Okay, here, the far parts, 
they are the darkest parts remember maybe here a bit the blending is so nice if you start using coffee you'll love it it's kind of watercolor but it's it has its own specific things Okay. Under the the brick where the birds hide. It's dark. How many dark a bit? Okay. I'll area come in dark on on few shades. Okay. هون عنا شيتس الشمس جاي من هون ما في شيء هون اوكي now we start seeing light and coffee okay send me your drawings i'll continue I'll continue with some um, people. I'll try to draw some people. Okay. If you do any kind of people, remember that the, the coloring of people in coffee is very detailed. Okay. We'll try to do what? We we'll try to do uh, uh, dancers. You want some dancers, kids? You want some the book? Yalla, we'll do some the book. Okay. As we said, always visualize what you're drawing. Visualizing and drawing is so important. And getting the right proportion. Okay. I usually people ask me why I don't put eyes. I don't put eyes. I let people look at their uniform, at their at their movements. Why to put eyes? Khalas, they know that they are human. Okay. Now we're gonna finish this dance and also color it with coffee. Hope you're having good time, guys. These are celebrating. Because they're gonna go home out soon, right? We won't stay home. We want to go out and have fun again. Okay. And everybody is happy. Everybody is happy. I hope you are happy and having good time. Remember that sketching and painting is part of your relaxing mode. It's a relaxing mode to be away from stress. So I recommend everybody to do something that he loves. Okay. Okay, kids. Now we're missing what? We're missing uh, the pipe. What? Uh, the, the flute guy. Okay.
this guy is doing some food. He's also he's also dancing with them. Where do we see these things? Mostly in our what? In our festivals, people dancing. People having flute, drums, manjaira, azmar. Okay. So you can translate all these things. As I was influenced by folklore dancing. So I love these people. Okay. Let's do somebody who is having the table. They say he's a table. Okay. He's expressing whoa, whoa, whoa. Then with his hand, a stick. And he's holding the table. And yes, a stick here and stick in his hand. Okay, these are our dancers. Let's try to 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 make a coffee. Yalla, let's paint them. Let's color it with coffee. Okay, uh, the sun will will make the sun. The hands of the lady will make the sun as a as a as it's noon time at twelve o'clock coming direction from top. The sun. Okay. This is the sun. Sun is directly coming from top. Okay. So uh, let's start with number three, which is a bit light. I'll take a small brush. Remember now I'm using small brush because I have small space to fill, not like this one. Okay. So small brush and I can use also smaller if you want. Okay. So uh, the sun is coming from top, bit of his face number three, faces, okay, bit on the waist, bit on the waist, underarms, because here direct sun is coming. It was a spring day. Don't worry, you can put like two layers, three layers on top of each other. Okay, but just to fill the space. Okay, fill the space first with three. Keep space for the light. Keep space for the sun. Whatever is facing the sun up, keep it a bit bright. And that's sometimes this is a, this is a good law in water paint. They 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 put a lot of light in their watercolors. Okay, I'll move to two. Two, it's a bit in dark areas where people have curves, where people have hidden angles where the sun doesn't treat much okay maybe inside here
Okay. Can go down. Can move to one for under layer. Okay, dark areas, always remember dark areas. You can highlight always in coffee. Sorry, you can always highlight in acrylic, but not much in coffee. Like in the beginning, you have to know your highlights in coffee. It's like water base. If you put a color, for example, if you put dark color, you can't remove it in, in coffee, okay? By while in acrylic you can, for example. But here when you put colors dark, it is stay dark. Okay. So here I'm using a lot number number one. Okay, where the sun is far. Also their legs, their shoes, the under shoes. You see when they dry, how they become layers, they become amazing. You can blend them more. It depends what style you want to do. You can blend these colors or you can blend later these colors. Okay. You can blend them with the in between. Like I want to blend this one. Or number two, I want to blend this. I don't want this line. You can always blend. Okay, I'm blending dark to light. I'm blending. Okay, here always you can always use water also. Normal water. So also blending, gonna blend with water. Let's put some, some shades. dark shades remember the shade is coming from top so it's on around it around the object or around the people the shape okay I hope you're having a good time. I 
I'll do another session uh, this week also. But I want you to prepare, uh, prepare more uh, like a drawing. Now you know a bit what kind of drawing you do. We'll do one with object and one with story. I want you to prepare a story, uh, any kind of story, and then prepare some object and tell me the sun where you're gonna head it off. You can send me your uh, your drawings uh, to my Facebook or uh, contact me. Uh, and this is my my number. My number is I live in UAE. Uh, zero zero nine seven one. Five zero four five nine zero seven six six. This is my WhatsApp. If you need anything, just let me know on this number. Okay. And if you need any private lessons or anything, just let me know. And stay safe. All the love and send me your picture later what you have done with your coffee. Love to all. Bye bye. Thank you for today. See you later.